Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the pseudo LSD or electronic EDIF on modern BMWs. This is my 08335i with the N54 motor. This is my stock differential that I've removed from the car. I've already installed an LSD and now we got to custom code the car or specifically the DSC module to let it know that an LSD is present and not to use a simulated or pseudo LSD. So right from the factory, this car came with a decent amount of torque. And if they didn't regulate this in some way, then you'd just be doing a one wheel peel or a peg leg even stock so what they did was they actually have the brakes or the dynamic stability control module monitor the speed between the two shafts and when one side is getting way too much power and it's uh, being overcome the abs module will activate just the brakes on this side to slow things down and they have a feature where it'll actually cut engine power if it sees that it's doing too much of that to avoid overheating the brakes. So if you're doing a bunch of quarter mile passes, you'll start losing mile an hour. The car will get slower because the brakes get too hot and the car is constantly avoiding a one wheel peel. It makes the car manageable. It makes it so you can even drive these cars. Even when you turn your DSC module completely off, it's still there, it's still going to be intervening. There's no way to turn that off unless you code it out. Now that I have an LSD in my car, it actually just interferes. I want the mechanical LSD to do its thing. So if you've been following my channel, I, I actually installed a limited slip differential conversion kit in a stock differential, and I'm in testing stages right now. To actually test the differential properly and really put that device through its paces, I'm going to be coding out the electronic differential or the diff locker that's built into your dynamic stability control module. I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. That way we can get the full effect of the limited slip conversion and see if it actually works well. I'm going to put a link in the description for the conversion series that I've put together. We're going to be coding out two things, the actual differential locker that's built into the DSC module. And we're going to code out the overheat function to avoid it intervening in any way. So let's get set up with the laptop. I'm going to just do a screen capture and show you how to do this. We're going to be using NCS Expert in the INPA software suite to do this today. So let's cut over to me working with my computer. So to be able to do this, you're going to need a K plus DCAN USB interface cable. I'll put a link in the description as well as the INPA software suite. I'll put a link in the description on how to set that up. All right, so my key is in the on position, headlights are off, climate control is off, and I have a battery tender on the battery to keep things charged up. I've loaded up IMPA to verify that we have a proper connection to the car. And we do because I have a black dot over here. So we'll close this out. Now we're going to load up NCS expert. We're going to go say file load profile, Revters NCS expert profile. And if you follow the link in the description, you'll be able to have the same overall setup. Press F1, F3. Choose chassis, that's going to be E89, closest variant. We can pull off any one of these modules. We're just gonna pull our vehicle order, so just hit okay. We've connected to the car successfully. Now we're gonna hit back. And we're gonna tr choose a particular ECU. We want the dynamic stability control or DSC, hit okay. Hit OK. Now we want to read the ECU so that it'll pull down the trace file. And we have verification because of, we have our Netodat trace file here. We're good to go there. Now that we've done that, we're going to go into NCS dummy. And you got to be conscious of the module type MK6087COC, C0C. So we're going to type in MK6087 and we want the C0C, which was this. And we'll verify again, MK6087.coc, it says right here, MK6087.coc. Now we're going to browse for our trace file. 
which is going to naturally be in the work directory of NCS expert. It's right here. You can verify the time that was just made Hit open. I've done no custom coding on this particular module, so I don't have to modify the netodat file. We can modify the standard trace file. So if you're new to coding, I kind of go into this in more detail in other videos, such as my custom coding, your angel eye voltage, etc. Um, I wasn't really taking the YouTube thing too seriously back then, so the pace is a little slow and I speak a little quietly there. You know, I, I learned along the way, but at the end of the day, you'll get some good information there if you don't mind sitting through a really long video. So now that we've done this, we have to go down and look for the diff lock. So right here, COC diff lock. We have wort02, meaning it is active. So instead of wort02, we want wort00, and that will automatically populate wort01. So we'll move on from here. Now we want the engine power reduction to avoid brake overheating. So right here, engine power reduction prevents brake disc overheating by reducing engine power. All right, so on my particular car for the engine power reduction, um, it has a data value, a hex value of 01, that's usually on. So what I can try here is just clicking one of the other ones. And the only other option is having 00 and 02 active indicates a hex value of 00, which would indicate off. So I have a COC module. I've seen other walkthroughs online that are for the 2009 and newer and they have a COF module. So you may notice a difference there. If you have an earlier module, you're gonna wanna select 02 and 00 to get a data value of 00 indicating not active. And we'll go back up to the diff lock function. For our diff lock function, we had 00, 02 active originally, data value indicating 01 basically on in hex. Change it to zero, zero, and zero, one, we get a zero, zero value, we've turned it off. So, that's good for me. The engine power reduction is set to off. Now we're ready to export our trace file here. Export fsw underscore psw dot man for manipulated. Now we come back to NCS expert, we're going to change job to SG Coderin and it's automatically going to code that manipulated file in the directory right here sorry right here that we just made and you'll get a little bong from your dash once it works properly All right, so I'm going to cycle the key on and off, give the car a start, make sure everything's good, and then we'll conclude. Okay, so I just gave the car a start. All systems are normal. I'm going to drive on it now. I'm ready to properly put it through its paces and do a proper review on this LSD. So that's going to conclude this video. It shows you how to code out your pseudo differential in your dynamic stability control module. We're ready for a proper test of this LSD now. I'm going to report back with a proper review now that we have all the electronic nannies out of the way. So thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more content like this. I upload regularly.